Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new post bag. We've got three packages that we're going to open in this video. So let's get started with the smallest one, which surprisingly is heavier than one of the other packages. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to cut it here. Oh, the, the battery terminals. Yeah, these are battery terminals. I needed them in order to obviously connect something to a battery. And I think that these are the removable clamp on version. There you go. Uh, apparently these are non-clampable things. These aren't... Yeah, these are not clampable. And I think then that they might have made a little... Oh, so this is only for the plastic thing. Yeah, they might have made a little engineering mishap because I think that this needs to go in here underneath these clips like on this one here you can see if you look into there there you can see that the middle section is clipped underneath fixing the screw in place so yeah that's not going to work on this one anyway I'll fix this later so let's go for the heaviest one of them all. And I think that this might be a combined package, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's not. So this is a glue gun. I desperately needed a glue gun uh, because the other one broke. So I bought a glue gun off of AliExpress and I'm hoping that it is going to work. It's a 20 watt glue gun which seems a bit to a low side for me. Oh and uh, the, the top notch, a 4 piece mini hook and pick set. And you can use these to uh, extract o-rings from various pieces and places without using a screwdriver which will most probably damage the surface as you're trying to get the o-ring uh, removed off so it's a really nice set this but we're all here for the glue gun we would assume there is when it's turned on no it's not so let's just check there's no short which is good Let's turn it on and the light starts, the, the, the power LED lights up, so things are working. And let's, oh, these glue sticks are really slippery. Let's insert a glue stick. And let's turn it on and see if glue comes out of here. I really like the small form factor of this thing. I think it's uh, it makes it really precise and the other glue gun that I had was quite big and you needed to push on the, the stick yourself which made for a rather tricky glue release because it wasn't really that precise it actually heats up rather quick I'm impressed by this little gun as I said the filaments are very slippery and let me check where my caliper is. So this glue gun uses filaments with a diameter of 7.3 millimeters, which is this in inches. And the length of the filament stick is, yeah, around uh, 
10 centimeters, which is fine. It's long enough. So it's quite uh, quite an interesting piece of uh, of kit actually. And a lot of glue actually comes out when you it really applies uh, quite a bit of force uh, onto the glue. So let's turn it off for 20 watts. This is actually quite amazing. The only thing that you need to, but that's with any, oh, that's with any glue stick, you need to take care that the nozzle isn't full of glue. Otherwise, in the end, it would burn. And so you can do this while it's hot, or when it has cooled off, you can just remove the uh, the glue remainings from the nozzle, and it actually stays liquid for quite a while. So you've got plenty of time out there using a thermal printer for this label. But you've got plenty of time to actually stick the part to the glue. Because the glue is it's liquid even now. So that's quite amazing. So yeah, for I think the, the two or three euros that I paid for this, I can actually really recommend this one. I can also recommend to close off the back when you're handling these glue sticks, otherwise they'll fly all around your room. That's probably not what you want, so let's proceed on to with the next package, which is rather light actually. So I'm curious to know what's inside of here. You might think, yeah, you already know because you ordered it. Yeah, that's true, but I'm quite forgetful. Oh yeah, this is a battery tester, there we go. So this is a battery tester. And I think that it it feels actually quite okay. So an ammeter, 150 amps, power analyzer. And that was what the idea was. I needed this and this so we could test my battery. Let's actually apply 12 volts to it and see what happens. See if it turns on or see if it doesn't turn on and blow apart. I'm hoping it turns on. So we're at 11.8 volts. Let's turn it on. There you go. Ah, it needed to zero out. Yeah. It's a little bit so it actually is a little bit, it says that it's drawing something, but it's not. Let's see how high it goes. Uh, maybe it's its own power usage. So that's 15.5 volts right now, that's quite impressive. And let's see if we can attach any load to this. So I've got a flexible so I've got a flexible LED strip over here and let's actually connect that to the output. So that's pretty accurate. I think the voltage reading is also pretty accurate for the cost of the thing. I think that this costed me around 5 or 6 euros. But I'm curious to see what's inside so let's crack her open and see what's inside. Let's remove these cables real quick. And let's crack her open. Now I can't. Oh, yeah, there are Phillips screws.
So let's see. Oh wow, it lifts out nicely. So the shunt resistor is on the negative side, on the negative pole, and they've just spliced the positive wire, the insulation of the positive wire apart, and they've just soldered it together. It's amazing that the display board is actually bigger than the old control circuitry PCB, and I think that there's a programming port of some sort over here. I can see a diode, oh no, an LDO. A few passive components and a controller IC presumably. The LCD board is manufactured rather recently on the 30th of August 2023. So yeah, it's, I mean it works, it's quite a cheap construction but it but if it works then it works right we don't need anything else if it works so let's see if I can get everything back together properly yes I can it's amazing that they can make such well actually quite impressive quality products for such a low cost And the housing is of soft plastic. And at this stage I really enjoy soft plastic, but once soft plastic ages then it will become very sticky and... But you can use rubbing alcohol to rub that off and it will actually get some of the soft touch plastic finish back. It won't be harsh plastic, so I don't think I've yeah I've had all screws. So this is a really nice addition. It makes uh, battery load testing really useful and really easy to do. So I'd recommend uh, buying this if you're into batteries. So I'll place links to all the items that I bought for this mailbag in the description. If you've got any questions, please let me know down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.